When the great American physicist and bongo drummer Richard Feynman was asked to think of a single line that would represent the most essential scientific knowledge we have, he simply replied, everything is made of atoms. What do you think about this? Why would he say that? Instead of a more complicated or significant things from the scientific knowledge. And most importantly, why is everything made of atoms? Let's find out more about it on Sotile. Everything is made of atoms. This statement is now taken for granted. From nuclear physics and current chemistry to everyday technology, so much of modern science is based on these most fundamental principles. It's amazing to imagine that what we know about atoms was only discovered in the last 100 years. Nuclear scientists are now on the cusp of a strange world populated with super heavy atoms and unusual nuclei, each existing for fractions of a second and holding the key to knowing how the universe is put together. Ernest Rutherford pioneered our understanding of atoms. After working in the exciting new science of radioactivity in Canada, he accepted a chair at Manchester University in 1907. Rutherford devised an experiment with his colleague Hans Geiger that revealed the surprising revelation that the atom, hitherto assumed to be a solid ball, has an internal structure. Within the atomic, he discovered a subatomic world. Rutherford's discovery, one of the most significant in science, signaled the beginning of nuclear physics. His experiment showed that one can determine the size, shape, and structure of an atomic nucleus by firing a beam of tiny particles at it and seeing how they bounce off, absorb, knock parts off, or even break it apart is still the foundation of nuclear reaction research a century later. The facility for anti-proton and ion research in Darmstadt will carry Rutherford's legacy into the 21st century. It's the most recent and largest of a new generation of particle colliders designed to investigate the structure of the nuclei of extremely uncommon and exotic atoms. FAIR, instead of firing bullets at an atomic target, will fire the targets at the bullets. Protons and neutrons are the two types of particles that make up atomic nuclei. To define an element, the number of positively charged protons in a nucleus is matched by the number of negatively charged electrons orbiting outside it. Yet, neutrons do more than just make up the numbers. They define the particular isotope of that element. The amount of protons and neutrons in stable nuclei appears to be appropriately balanced. Yet, it is now possible to create nuclei in which this balance is disrupted by an excess of neutrons or protons. The world's heaviest element was developed at Russia's Plevrov Laboratories, only three nuclei of un octium element 118 in the periodic table were seen briefly before decaying. It's expected that additional heavier nuclei will be synthesized soon and that some of them will be stable or at least long-lived enough to be produced in large quantities for useful chemistry. If they can be created, they will undoubtedly provide researchers with many fresh discoveries. Nobody knows what these nuclei might be beneficial for in the future. Scientists learn more about the workings of the fundamental forces of nature that hold the entire universe together by knowing the boundaries of how nuclei exist and what holds them together. And this is critical information for the human race. That was the video, guys. Like, comment, and share the video to show your love and support. Subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.